The most important considerations when tiling are the tile type, the surface the tiles are being adhered to, the location in which the tiles will be used. Different tile types require specific tile adhesives and grout choices. Porous bodied ceramic tiles or biscuit body tiles are mainly suitable for walls. These tiles are highly porous, typically with between 10 to 20% water absorption and they have relatively low load bearing capacity. Use either a powdered or ready mixed adhesive with these tiles. Vitrified tiles are suitable for wall and floor application. These tiles can be quarry tiles or monocotura single fired tiles. Given they are less porous, they are a stronger tile and hence have common domestic use. They are suitable for foot traffic as well as for tiling walls. Full bodied porcelain tiles can be recognised by the fact that they are the same colour throughout the depth of the tile. By definition, these tiles have virtually no water absorption, i.e. 0.5% or less. When working with fully vitrified tiles, both the adhesive and the grout must contain polymers to ensure the correct level of adhesion strength is achieved with the tile. Natural stone tiles include slate, travertine, marble, limestone and a whole host of other naturally occurring stone. Natural stone tiles which are uncalibrated are generally more expensive and time consuming to lay. Some natural stone tiles can be brittle and sensitive to water. Each tile will have its own unique texture, pattern and finish. Make sure your customer is aware of this before laying the tiles. Twin pillar cutting of natural stone tiles will break the tile, a costly error. Natural stone tiles must be wet cut. When using large format tiles, careful consideration should be given to the substrate, the weight of the tiles per square metre, and the combined weight of the grout and adhesive when applied to the substrate, which should be factored in at 4 kilograms per metre squared. Plasterboard, for example, will support 32 kilograms per metre square whereas plaster will support significantly less at 20 kilograms per meter squared. Plasterboard normally allows 32 kilograms per meter squared. However, when skimmed with plaster, the weight tolerance of the substrate is significantly reduced to 20 kilograms per meter squared, including the adhesive and grout weight.